So adding 500 people who are my friends is a journey because my friends who are already on my friend list are somehow different than other people in the world. Uh, they're open-minded, they're, they have done something in their life, they are somewhere from very far away in the world which you wouldn't find normally. So there, there's some anomaly about them. They're some the way unique. And um, it's, I'm not saying they're the only 5,000 people on the planet which are unique, but what I have collected, I have whoever I could find um, who was open-hearted in the first place, I mean, I, I got them there. Or if they're not open-hearted or open-minded, they're still different. So finding 500 people out of those 5,000 people is a journey which whoever goes on would find themselves. Because when you talk to people, you have to make a conversation. You can't just add anyone. Especially people now in my friend list, they're becoming, they are we're putting more and more filters around them, firewalls around them, so they wouldn't be added so easily. They would say it would be very challenging to add. So these are great challengers giving you challenge. And when you do that, it's like building your body, physical body, this is building a mental body. And your mental body is becoming stronger and stronger and it will allow you to do almost anything in your life once you once you end up having 500 of these mixed friends. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this to, again, create amazing people. Um, I'm trying to create a small little middle class. I'm trying to create a, you know, I was trying to do for four years, a hundred, with a million dollar, a million business project. And I failed. I failed miserably because I couldn't find, not miserably, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't even say I failed. I would say I found this new way of doing what I'm doing. So for the 100 businesses, I needed 100 CEOs, 100 CFOs, 100 CMOs. I tried to create a non-university, it didn't work. I tried to create small little businesses. I tried to hire people, it didn't work. Uh, but now with 500 mutual friends, I'm trying. I'm getting people who are amazing, who are um, becoming these outliers, and I'm finding these people who are phenomenal, but they haven't discovered themselves. So I'm able to discover them uh, by this process. And now, once they have these people, they can almost do anything they want in their life. They can become teachers, entrepreneurs, business person, anything. Because now they went through a journey of trying to talk to a thousand people and selling themselves and trying to convince that other person, hey, I'm a good person, why don't you be my friend? And they managed to sell themselves to at least 500 people. That means you can sell anything. And you have to be able to sell whatever you believe in. You have to be able to sell yourself for a job, for a business, for an idea, for a mission, whatever. You have to be able to talk. and explain to people what is that what you want and if you are able to do this on the journey then you can now you're ready to do almost anything and now i can give you a task which you will do and say huh that's nothing i can just do it in a, in a day whereas normally when i would give you and ask you to do something you would say oh that's a very very difficult job so now since you are on the top of everest i mean climbing the next mountain would be so easy for you so this is why i'm 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 forcing people and challenging people to go out and do this ridiculous task, which they think is ridiculous, but it's a journey. It's like if somebody told you, okay, I'll hire you, but you go around the world on foot and whatever time it takes, you come back and then I'll give you a job. That person, when he comes around the world, he would not be the same person because on that journey, he would meet a gazillion people. And those people would just transform his mindset by the time he is on the other way around, he would, his, he would not be the same person anymore. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make these people who are not the same person, um, actually they're not the same person, but they're trying to emulate themselves as the other person to become the person they're supposed to be or find themselves. And um, Shams Tabrez um, writes in his book, and I saw in his documentary, that anybody who goes on a journey to finding God for a few years, he would find God and try to find himself. And he could transform himself. So this is like that. It's not like finding God, but it's actually finding those people who would lead you to whatever you want to be looking for. And that will change you. And these outliers, whoever has 500 friends of mine, they can go and write any problem 
business-wise, life-wise, they're so intermingled around the globe because they have to have 500 not Pakistani friends. So they will become so intermingled. If there is a problem, they would fix it like that. So for example, if there's a war in Syria, and one of those men had 500 of my friends, my friends include journalists, business people, influencers, congressmen, governors of the states in the US, uh, parliamentarians in Pakistan, all kinds of people. And if you go out and sit and show, this is what is happening right now in my country, and you speak in English, because again, you have to speak English to make them friends, your, your video will go viral like this. And that will solve your problem, because you need a critical mass to do anything. If you have a great idea and nobody's buying into your idea, nobody is listening to you, your idea is useless. If you have a book, nobody's willing to read it. How would you, how would, if you had 100,000 friends, if you have 500 friends, it's guaranteed that 50 of your friends will read your book. And these are friends which are not from your part of the world. So they're more interested in you because you're, you're very unique to them. Just like they're unique to you. So a friend overseas over internet is some, is has different value than a physical person who is around us. A physical person around us does not, he takes us for granted. I mean, there's one guy in Rwanda, he used to play a drum for me on video and send it to me you know he sent me three videos and every other day he would say brother i'm waiting for you on lunch i'm like hello and this guy makes 40 dollars a month but he asked me so many times i wanted to go to rwanda and have lunch with him just because he was showing his love for me and i have no idea where in rwanda he is i have no idea who he is i don't care because i just you know admire this person and he keeps writing me and now i'm i'm running away from Rwanda, and now I'm in Libya, I'm suffering, and I said, brother, I can't do much, but I'm listening. So, yeah, so if we had enough people around us, we can fix anything. And that's the whole concept, and that's an experiment which I want to prove. The whole idea of an experiment is to treat, see if it's working, and I can see it's working. People who add hundreds of my friends, they message me, I don't want your laptop anymore. Your friends are, have changed my life already. I'm going for that. I've Jeanette. seen that a lot. That, that's always that's impressive. Yeah, you and it's I mean? crazy. That they're actually gaining what you thought they would gain, and it isn't really. They realize all of a sudden it isn't the laptop that is important. Yeah, it's right. the new friendships and the. It's not just friendships, but potential business opportunities. You know, mm. both ends have something. You know. Good going on, whether it's goods and services or talents, you know, and if, they can work together. And if you think of this from God's perspective, the spiritual, the spiritual, God is saying, do good and I should give you heaven. So when you do good, you feel good on this earth. You don't have to go to heaven to feel good. You, you have to even feel good here when you're doing good, when you're really doing good. You're not always stuck up to the laptop or the heaven. We should live right now. We should be happy all the time. Uh, and in result, heaven is a byproduct. Um, but you have to live here, and you have to really be here, and you have to enjoy while you're here. And if you're not in joy, you are in pain. So you have to be in joy all the time, no matter what happens. If you break a leg, if you have a headache, if you ate today, be in joy. And if you can be in joy no matter what, I mean, you're always already in heaven, right? It's like being in heaven. It's just your mindset. If, if there's a little bit of pain, that's fine. I mean, I was, when I was going through watching this birth of my latest baby, if somebody, if it wasn't a mother and the pain which the mother suffers in that process, I think if it was a normal, situation people will not recover from it for the next 30 years or ever if if you could not see if if you focused on that pain which happens in the baby process nobody will ever have a baby but because you focus on the what the goal is what you get out of that pain that pain two days later is gone you, you lose it but if you kept thinking about that pain, oh my god i, I was almost dead of that pain then you're going to be stuck and you will never get out of your pain. Well, that's why I give the laptop. It's just debate. 
it's not the, it's not really what I'm looking to give away. It's just an experiment for people to see and it motivates them. It's like getting a certificate or you know it's an award for them to achieve something. And I hope that more and more people will 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 take it from me because you know I only have I want to do it in January, like end of December. And I hope like I could give you a hundred more, you know.